Never lock your knees? Ha! Please. Oh my goodness. Do you have any experience with this? Um, no, I haven't seen this before. Um, but I will say, as someone who tends to faint <laughs> when I get very nervous, I would not be surprised. And I think that doing some breathing exercises or whatever you can um, before you're in that big moment is important, especially if you know that this could happen or it has happened before. Yeah, um, the, uh, the ceremony, you know, you think it's going to be all, you know, we'll get up there, we'll say our I do's and get out of there. But obviously, dependent on the officiant you choose, um, some ceremonies last a very long time. Um, Roman Catholics come to mind, that, that, that's a long one. Um, you know, there's different. Well, just, that, and you're just in front of so many people, and it's like it's such a big pivotal moment in your life that a lot of people, it's just so much, um, you know, anxiety leading up to that moment, whether it's good or bad, hopefully it's good. Um, but I think that it's really easy for people to just hold their breath and not even realize it, and you're down. Yeah. So yeah. just be aware that you're breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Learn to breathe, kids. Betty locked his knees. Definitely. Oh, you guys look so beautiful. Yeah. Soak it in. It goes so fast. Snake! <laughs> okay. So it's funny to these guys because they didn't pay for it. But all I'm saying is I'd kick them out because I'm not about to have them ruin my ceremony. Yeah. Um, I'm not a fan of wedding pranks. This goes back to, you know, your, your guest list and, and picking the right people. Um, it's just some guys are just or some girls and some people just they don't, I guess, maybe respect the, the traditions or the ceremony or anything like that. And this is just, although it couldn't be, could be harmless, it uh, very well could turn the wrong way. And mm -hmm. um, this is hopefully the only time you're ever going to have this type of ceremony. So you don't want um, contingencies or things like that um, that are going to kind of steer it in the wrong direction um, obviously, it's, it's good to remember that it's just a day. It's not the end of the world if anything goes wrong. And there's always going to be something, I'm sure, that is not quite there. Um, hopefully, it's not a, a couple of guys tying snakes to the bride's, uh, bridesmaids. But uh, I think it's just a good idea to remember that, you know, it's all about the marriage. And this is just the starting point to, your, to, to that lifelong relationship. This isn't all of it. Yeah, this is about the bride and the groom. Don't bring attention to yourself. Um, you've got to keep in mind, they've been planning this for months and months and you know, even sometimes a year. So these things like this, they can cause a lot of disruption and uh, just ruin the day for someone. You know, if something like this happened to me, I'd probably act, you know, amused by it, but I don't think I'd be talking to those people very often after that no no i don't think so first corinthians is the book of love and in the book of love it talks about how... okay that one's hard for me to play through oh i'm so sorry guys you know that thing's only got one weakness Best man, will you please present the ring? I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I don't have it. Oh no! So does this actually happen? I mean, you see I mean, it in you see it in movies and TV all the time. It seems like the best man just kind of. I always imagine like they're getting married above the water, and they drop it. Oh no! Into the dock. Um, I think that you should probably have a checklist. Don't just leave it to one person to make sure you have everything um, 
this should definitely be, you know, you've got like two backup people going through the list before they walk out that door, making sure they have everything done. Also, a planner would not let this happen. So, a good planner. So make sure you have a whole list of people that can make sure everything goes smoothly. Yeah, the the best man, obviously it is his responsibility to, to hold on to those things, but there's a lot going on and most people haven't done this before. So they're not used to having to to have that with them. There There's so many different things going on, whether it be just whatever it they, going on throughout the day that's just so different and crazy. Um, it's easy to forget stuff. So yeah, definitely having a planner there to uh, that's done this before, that has that checklist that they can kind of keep everybody in line and make everything go smoothly. It's my wedding band. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Everybody, could y'all look up here? I hope you enjoyed that free dinner. My wife did go back to work so we could pay for all of this. My name is Tara. I deserve this mic. I have some things to share on our special night. We're so glad she's marrying somebody with a relatively short name, Ryan Swinini. Sweeney. Sweeney. We didn't need a dating app to know that we both fit. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really prepare anything for you, dude. I nice. totally forgot. I've seen a few awkward speeches. You know, I mean, I think it might have been awkward for some people and then maybe it made sense for others. I've seen some where people try to be funny and they're just kind of mean. Yeah, I could see, you know, just pick the right person for sure. Yeah. Um, and if you are the person who is chosen, inside jokes aren't gonna be, no one's gonna understand inside jokes. So stay away from them because they're just gonna come off as mean. And in addition, just bringing up, you know, stories or what have you of, of before the, the people were married or anything like that. I think probably the best thing would just run the the speech by the the couple maybe or, or by I mean, somebody so you're not you know you get in your own head and you write your own speech and you think everything's really really funny but have someone look over it to make sure you're not just yeah i mean if you can find someone you know the parents one of your friends somebody to just run it by because i think it's very easy to come across as mean um to other people uh you don't want to cause a whole lot of emotions because this is already a highly stressful day. Um, people don't want to be crying or think about, you know, whoever they married, they don't want to be thinking about their ex from five years yeah. ago. So Yeah, this is not stuff up. This is not your stand up hour to where you can you're getting uh, you're trying out for Comedy Central. Just I would probably err on the side of the caution if it was me, mm -hmm. and just I like, give something nice. You know? I like a little bit of comedy. I think that of course. they're funny, but like we were saying, you've got to think about your audience. Uh, make sure that you're not saying anything that's going to be bring up bad memories or um, just ruin it. Because once you do that, there's really no going back. Yeah, and prepare something. You saw the last guy; he just won it. That's. That's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. At least have some bullet points. Oh, we're already behind. Remember, this is your day, my bad. Ooh. No, move that vine over there. It's moving. I'm gonna stuff those flowers in your mouth. And are we ready for the hair? I already did my hair. No, not how I would have done it. Okay. <laughs> it's so, it's a little close to home. So I definitely think. Your planner um, is there to make sure everything is going to schedule. I've been at weddings before where uh, they don't, you know, the bridal party just disappears for an hour and throws everything off. It, you really have to make sure that you're staying to the schedule or it's just gonna mess up other things. Um, it's not uh, great for the, the vendors, you know, if the caterer is planning on serving dinner, but you're off somewhere, you've disappeared, and they can't serve dinner, that just means they're gonna be there longer. Um, 
everything's going to be just kind of put off by that one moment. And uh, making sure that you listen to your planner is important. I don't think that planners should be like drill sergeants, uh, but it's important and they should have a little bit of a mean side to them because if something goes wrong or someone unwanted shows up or, you know, someone's causing a problem, they are there to take care of that and you want to make sure that they can do that rather than just coming off as a pushover or too nice. Yeah, obviously um, this was an over-exaggeration of kind of being a planner, but you know, you have to have that balance and I think that our planners here at Pop Event Company, our coordinators, really uh, strive to have that where um, they're helping you through uh, you know, the pre-planning where things can be completely crazy. We've had uh, brides crying on phones, you know, and we're able to talk them down just because it's so stressful. And then that big day of the day of coordination is keeping everybody on, on in schedule and keep making everything run smoothly. But obviously uh, have a little bit more touch than this guy. Mm -hmm. um, he was uh, a little overkill, um, but you're right. Ha being able to kind of kind of flip that switch and make sure everything goes good is is important while also you know, understanding that people are on edge, emotions are high. That's mm -hmm. one of the things, uh, in wedding jobs, as opposed to when we do events, are, are have so much more emotion. Um, and that's something we have to take into consideration. That yeah, and also when you get married, you don't want to be pulled around, um, you know, 500 different places. So a good thing about a planner as well is they can kind of be your buffer. So if you have your third cousin and your aunt and your uncle and your friend from elementary school and they're all trying to pull you, you know, you can kind of tell them that and they can kind of calm you down and get you to where you need to be, get the ball rolling, um, you know, make sure the right tables are getting up to get their food if you have a buffet or something and making sure that cocktail hour goes well, just all that stuff. So um, the stuff that you don't really want to have to worry about on your wedding. Yeah. Sorry guys, Paige is a little stuck together. Today we're celebrating two people coming together. It might be lost a little bit, but it's all right. We're gonna keep going. So, summer weddings. Um, I definitely think that when you are planning your wedding, you need to think about the venue you're having it at. Um, you know, depending on the month, if it's in the middle of the summer and it's gonna be 90 something degrees that day, make sure that you have some shade at least or an indoor option. Um, tent. Yeah, we saw tents a lot mm -hmm. this summer, um, but you know, make sure you you have a, a good idea of what the tent's made out of. Um, clear tents in the summer months almost act as magnifying glasses, so they can make it even hotter inside the tent than it is outside. So, you know, tents that have a, a solid um, fabric, uh, tent fans work really well. Misting stations. Misting stations. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's just. Um, you just have to take that into consideration. Um, obviously, the summer is a beautiful time to get married, and it, a lot of the venues, especially the outdoors ones, look awesome. Um, but it's just another thing to take into consideration to make sure that your guests are comfortable, you're comfortable. It's also about safety. Yes, you safety. Know, if it's too hot, you don't want your guests dropping like flies. Yeah. Uh, Ice luge is probably not the uh, the time to do it, but unless you've got you know fans and can can hold that. But yeah, it's just there's a lot of things that um, the weather uh, can affect in your wedding, whether it be cold or hot. Um, mm -hmm. Now that we're in kind of the the colder months, um, you can see by our pop event company hoodies, uh, this was not planned, um, but. Yeah, and it just always changes with the season. So having somebody who's been through it all, obviously we are always going back to get a planner, get a planner, get a planner. Um, they've been through it. They know the things that need to be considered when it comes to the temperature. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, I'm sorry. Nice dress. I'm really makes up. Okay. I know you have strong opinions about this, so, so I'll let you this go. This is like... Bailey rant incoming. I don't like when people use the excuse that they didn't know any better. <laughs> because they did know better. 
and almost always, I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time, they're doing it on purpose. Now, I might not know the reason why, and they might ne never tell you the reason, but, uh, you know, don't do it. I think there are multiple colors you kind of want to be wary about um, when you're a guest. Some people wear black. I think black's kind of 50-50. Um, I don't know how I feel about it personally, but if I see someone show up in a white dress, they're changing or they're leaving. Yeah, it's... Um, it's not your day. It's not your day. Um, I think that... It's just an easy thing not to do. Yeah, um, it's an easy chance not to take. Because maybe mm -hmm. there, you may be a situation where the bride doesn't care. Um, but I think it's a lot easier to just not, uh, to err on the side of ca caution and not wear white. And it's not always about, you know, if the bride cares or not. Uh, people that see these pictures with you and them or, you know, the mother of the bride, the cousin, the bridesmaids, whoever those people will probably care uh, and you know this is more about your personal image people are immediately going to judge you if they see you wearing a white dress at a wedding that's not yours so just don't do that yeah stay away from that also uh from experience uh figure out what the bridal party is wearing so you don't wear the same thing uh i've worn uh i've worked weddings and things like that and worn uh, a gray, color. yeah, you wear you wear a gray jacket yeah. thinking that's pretty neutral until everybody's wearing gray. And then you suddenly look like you're part of the party, so. And a that's a little bit, le obviously it's a lot less um, important and does not have the same weight yeah. as wearing white to a wedding is, but you know, pro tip. Well, a lot of um, weddings will have dress codes as well. So make sure you stick with that. If, you know, if there's a wedding and they're asking you to wear neutral colors, don't show up in a neon orange. Uh, dress because then you will stick out like a sore thumb not just in the pictures that you see or that you want but in the pictures that are going to be you know in this couple's home that they're going to show their kids in 25 years so don't be that person don't be that guy or girl or girl do your hair now they make me say this part if anybody objects to this marriage speak now or forever hold your peace you can do that Oh my goodness. So, I haven't seen this happen. Um, and I could be wrong, and it could just be a state by state thing, I'm not sure. But isn't it that if someone objects, you can't go on with the wedding, right? Yeah, it's legal. It's, don't do this. This is something, this is right up there. I've seen people do this as pranks. I actually saw a video a few days ago uh, where the one of the friends did this and the groom was in on it and I guess he just didn't know, you know, the consequences of doing this and they ended up not getting married. Not even after, you know, the, the second attempt. They, they didn't even have a second attempt. She was like, I'm done. I guess doing this kind of thing is not considerate and it's kind of nasty, so don't. Yeah, um, don't invite your ex to your to your wedding in case it's real don't cause don't bring people that you know are going to cause problems um there have been a few weddings where people have been worried about you know a certain person and my best advice is if you're worried don't invite them you don't owe them anything this is your day and uh, if you're worried that they're going to cause an issue or ruin the night then they don't need to be there yeah, um, and there are, obviously there are ways to, to go about that. Um, you know, obviously family and things like that can, can make things tricky to where you, you feel like you have to invite, you know, third cousin Robbie. You don't have um, to invite Uncle Steve. Drunk Uncle Frank. Uncle Frank, yeah, you don't have to invite Drunk Uncle Frank. I don't, I'm not sure Drunk Uncle Frank would be objecting. I think Drunk Uncle know. Frank would already be drinking. You may hear uh, may there, are there any objections and you hear of him cracking a cold one. So not as bad, but, uh, but yeah, definitely just, just don't do this. Um, if you're in love with the bride, you probably should have figured that out before, uh, as opposed to on her wedding day. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This isn't a movie or a music video. 
So don't act like that. Oh, we have a hand raise. Couldn't find a spot for me up there, Spark? Ty, I haven't even talked to you since the MySpace days, man. Just so you know, she only married you for your good luck. You keep my soon-to-be wife's name out your mouth. I didn't say your wife's name, and who do you think you are? I am! Get him out. Where did you get this guy? What is he, 50? Come after me. I'm a man. I'm 40. And not only that, but you two have the audacity to schedule a Texas outdoor wedding yeah. on July 18th yeah. at 3.30 yeah. p.m. Security, get him out of here. Ah! Yeah, me too. He looks so good in white, though. Stop it! So, that is the video. Bailey, you have any closing thoughts? Um, just make sure that you go through everything uh, a few times before the day of. Uh, go through your guest list and make sure you don't have someone that's going to tie a snake to your bridesmaid dress or play noises during your ceremony. Um, but other than that, just have fun and enjoy the day. Uh, it, it doesn't need to be super stressful. It's a time for you to just have fun with your friends and family, celebrate your new life with uh, the person you're marrying, and just, you know, have a great day. Yeah. Well, if you liked this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below if you saw any of these uh, stereotypes at a wedding you've been to or your own wedding, or if if you've been the prank brothers, maybe not comment that because you might get some hate. But uh, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Ty, that's Bailey. Bye.